Welcome back. We got a good one here. Nanoscience is the study of materials on a very, very small scale, and your family can get a hands on lesson at the Paper Discovery Center. Yeah, Sharon Clothier is here. She's one of the educators there, and she's brought some really cool experiments with us. And what is this stuff called? This stuff is called Ooblek. Ooblek. We're going to get there, but Love let's that name. start with nanoscience. Why is this such right. an important thing to be studying? Well, nanoscience is a science of the very, very small. So okay. these are things at the atomic and molecular level. Okay. But there's all kinds of new potential there. So, for instance, this is a model of a buckyball molecule. Appropriate for today. Exactly, exactly. So, this is carbon. It's the same thing that's in pencil lead or in a diamond, but this arrangement is what makes it special. It's like a soccer ball, but it's a ball. It's a sphere. So, okay. it makes a good lubricant. It's like ball bearings. Okay. Things can just roll along over buckyballs. It's also hollow. So, there's potential there that we could fill these with medicines. To develop very targeted cancer treatments. Wow! And you're telling us we're using things with nano. What's the proper word for it? For with nanoscience or okay. nanotechnology. We're using them every day. Exactly. Sunscreens, especially those marketed for kids or for sensitive skin, okay. because they have mineral sunscreen, titanium or zinc. But it's very, very tiny particles, so you can rub it on your skin. It goes on clear and not like lifeguard nose. Remember that? Yes, yeah. I do. Exactly. So that's nano-sized particles. All right, Sharon. So we have the science lesson now. Let's get into some of the activity. All right. What do you have lined up for us here? We got to put so, our safety guys right. on. That's yeah, right. Safety put first. These on. All right. Very we are going to create some nanostructures here. Okay. We're going to put a nanometers thin layer of copper. Onto some nickels. Okay. All right. So first we have the copper, putting that on one side. <laughs> we have the nickel that goes on the other. So I'm going to pour in the copper sulfate solution, and okay. after I do that, I'll have you hook up the leads. Okay. Okay. Melaine's not going to get like electrocuted. No, no. I need help with jumper. That's cables, good. So I'm Absolutely <laughs> not. So All this right. this solution has copper atoms in it. Okay. I'll have you connect the black to the negative. This side. And the red's going to go to the positive. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens here. I'm so anxious. All right. Now, when we do this, Come we've back. just completed a circuit. Okay. This solution is completing the circuit, and it is letting copper atoms migrate from the copper bar through the solution and deposit onto the nickel. Okay. So when we lift it up, we should have a coating of copper. Really? So go ahead and lift up the black lead, and let's see what we've got. What oh do you my know? God! Looks like a penny. Yep. How cool is exactly. that? Exactly. And we can even leave it in a little longer. When scientists and manufacturers use the electroplating process, they can carefully control how much metal gets deposited with the time and with the amount of electric current. How Very interesting. Cool experiment. And we're not done yet. We also have, I forget the name of this. I love it's the name. It's called Ooblek. 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 Like right. That. So, what's so in the bag? that's a bag of Ooblek. You can move you it around. <laughs> when you don't put any force on it, it's a liquid. It's very gentle and flowing. But as soon as you exert some sort of force or pressure, it seizes up and becomes a solid. Okay. So if you grab it or if you hit it. Okay. And that's because those cornstarch molecules are clumping together and forming right. a solid. Nate, we got about 30 seconds. Okay. You got to show us the marble trick. All right. So what am I doing? You're going to drop that marble and it's going to hit. Whoa. And Fine. then it slowly sinks. Look at that. It's but like if I just quicksand. take one and gently put it on top, it sinks right in. Right. Wow. No, these are this just some of awesome. the experiences families can check out at Nano Days, which are taking place now through April 1st at the Paper Discovery yes. Center in Appleton, included with your regular admission. Exactly. We'll have more information on wearegreenbay.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Lisa Malik's wardrobe provided by Furs and Clothing of Distinction, downtown Green Bay.